How's it going everybody? It is Unknown Coder back with another Minecraft video. Today we are on episode 8, so that means we only one episode between us and killing the Ender Dragon. Next episode is going to do a bunch of random things. I think we're going to get some potions brew. we're going to go work on the farm some more. I think we're going to completely finish the farm and then maybe uh, head over to the desert a little bit to work on that. But I'm not sure. I have some plans for the desert for later on. So I have a few things to talk about in this video. Hopefully I don't forget about any of them. So let's first off, let's get into what we actually work on. So this video was kind of, I was planning to get ready a little bit more for going to fight the Ender Dragon. So we end up do going to get some, actually we end up going to the nether, but first what we do is we go on a little adventure down to a mine shaft so we can get some string because um, I want some string for dispensers. So the first thing we actually do work on is making the farm somewhat automatic. It's semi-automatic now. What we end up doing was we went to a mine shaft, got a bunch of string for, um, what are they called? For bows, and then the bows made dispensers. And then obviously we used the dispensers to shoot down water down the hill. So the first time we used it, it worked. And like we actually end up forgetting to uh, pick up the materials because what we did was we set a little minecart rail underneath with a hopper minecart that picked up all the materials. And what ended up happening was the very first run, it pushed them too far over. It didn't push them over far enough, I think. So it didn't end up picking them all up. And then we end up forgetting to go pick up all the materials. So all the carrots and potatoes that we got, like we lost. So we had to pretty much repopulate all of our carrots and potatoes. We had plenty of wheat still, so we didn't have to worry about wheat as much. So unfortunately, we lost a lot of potatoes and carrots, and I really like eating potatoes. Um, after this, like I said, we, we set down some minecart rails and we troubleshoot a little bit. And that's what we did in our live stream last Sunday. So then after we worked on the farm for quite a while, we I ended up going off stream was the rest of it. We went to the nether, so I went over to where my old nether portal was, moved it down to my new mine area. And we went to the nether, to the nether fortress, and we kind of just went around. The reason I did this was because, one, we need brewing stuff. So we needed blaze rods and nether wart and all that stuff for brewing. As well as we need blaze rods for the Eye of Ender to, one, find the nether, for, or to find the end fortress, and to uh, finish the end portal as well. So we really needed um, the, not ender rods, but the uh, blaze rods. So what we did, we ended up going exploring the, the end, not the end, the nether fortress for probably, like, 20 or 30 minutes we got I think close to 20 blaze rods we end up finding a blaze spawner and just blocking ourselves in and killing them in as we spawn our armor really took a beating so in between stream and uh, that time whatever I end up going to our AFK farm where the skeletons drop down and I mended all my tools I put mending on all of my uh, what is it all of my armor as well as my other tools I only need one more mending book for my sword we also made a sword this episode so Whenever we went fishing before this episode, we, before we started recording this episode, I end up getting a bunch of books as well. The final thing that we need to create before we go to the end now is just our bow. And I already have a bow that has mending and infinity and then also has power and something else I think. So we just need to merge those bows together and repair it and then we should have a really good bow. Um, so after we did all of that stuff, we end up going back to the farm and working on the farms a bit. So the rest of the time we worked on the farms, we did some more terraforming. I actually ended up like getting hit by a witch into lava and then the witch found the lava and she wouldn't even die. She just like sat there, kept drinking regen potions, so I ended up just blocking her in. So we connect the rest of the left side of the farm to the ground. We also added two lakes and another water feature. So I was talking about in my stream how I want to do like a water trough or a little river system. So we ended up doing the river system. And the river system is kind of why we end up having to tear out the railway. We might end up putting hoppers down on the last row of where the uh, the farmland is. I'm not sure yet. But the biggest problem with the 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 rail system was that it wasn't picking up all the items fast enough, and things were going to despawn. It couldn't uh, extract the items fast enough, so that was a problem. So we just said, "Screw it! I'm going to go pick it up by hand." So we end up working on that and we made two little ponds, one on the left side and one on the right side. I might still end up making like a little um, river going down the side of the right side, I'm not sure yet. So next episode, what we're going to do with the farm area is we're going to plant down some sugar cane, we're going to plant down um, wheat, some, we might even put some, what's it called, uh, nether wart down in some areas. But I really want to get the left side, I want to get pumpkins, melons, maybe some other stuff, I'm not sure yet. 
maybe sugar cane here and there and on the right side is going to be the wheat the potatoes the carrots of course we need to collect all this stuff before we can plant them all down the next episode is going to be a challenge getting all the water in that we need because of the fact that it's pretty much hollow under all of them so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to dig out holes where the water is going to be i'm going to uh, go underneath i'm going to put glowstone under where the water is so we can get some uh some light coming up and then i think i'm going to go maybe get some lily pads i think light will go through lily pads and that'll light up the whole area so mobs will stop spawning as well as have enough light for all, everything so next episode that's probably gonna be the plan finish up the farms get some melons get all of our brewing stuff done and like just pretty much be ready to go right whenever we start recording for episode 10 we can literally go straight to the end kill the ender dragon and then i want to get a bunch of shulker shells and stuff like that because of the fact that i, I think right around after we get done with that the end and stuff i think we want to go over to our witch hut and start working there although we might end up just like waiting a little bit and working on a creeper farm because i think i want to uh be able to fly around the end and stuff to obviously find in cities so we're gonna need a lot of rockets and we're gonna need a lot of paper so what i'm planning to do is going and making a creeper farm and a paper farm out in the desert to the right of our house over there so literally if you've ever seen ethos labs um uh whatever big uh big farm for what i'm uh, not wheat sugarcane big sugarcane farm it's just like a giant desert and it has like a pyramid or whatever that's a mob farm i want to kind of do something similar except i'm just going to do a pyramid i'm not going to do the walls and stuff and then all around the pyramid i want to do the sugarcane so that's kind of like my plan and then once we get a bunch of shulker boxes we're going to start digging out our perimeter which is going to be humongous i think we're going to do like we're going to have a circle in the middle of our giant mega base that's going to be a, like a big hole down to the ground and that's going to be 64 in diameter or yeah i think 64 in diameter so it'll be 32 blocks and then we'll probably add another 32 blocks just to be safe and on, so that'd be 64 then we're gonna have a 64 wide walkway um underground where we're gonna have farms and stuff so then we're gonna have from that 64 so that's like about 128 blocks we had another 128 blocks in all directions so that nothing will spawn even when we're on the very edge so we're gonna have like i think it's like 128 times two whatever size um perimeter in all sides so we're gonna have to dig all that out i'm not sure how many chunks that is but it's pretty huge and it's gonna take forever to dig out so obviously we're probably gonna want a beacon and all that stuff as well i'm still not gonna make an iron farm yet until we get um supported over to 1.14 i've been lurking on the forums of replay mod and it seems like they're getting closer and closer so i think that's pretty much it for the plans for this now i want to talk about a little bit of channel stuff so if you guys haven't noticed i've been playing i've been uploading pretty much every day I plan on continuing to update, upload every uh, single weekday, Monday through Friday. Fridays are still going to be Minecraft, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to alternate from uh, like single player games to Call of Duty campaigns. I want to try to upload every single Call of Duty campaign from Call of Duty 4 all the way through World War 2 before the new Call of Duty game comes out. So that's going to be fun. <clears throat> so beware of that and once I finish Borderlands 2 I'll probably move on to a different game a different single-player game that is so who knows what game that'll be and the other big announcement I have is my streaming schedule for this uh, summer so I officially started my part-time job unfortunately the full-time job wasn't gonna work out where I was gonna just have Fridays off so now I'm working Monday through Friday except I'm not gonna be working until noon so I'm gonna be streaming on Monday Wednesday Friday from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and then from and then on Tuesday Thursday I'll be working on videos for you guys to upload to YouTube so that's gonna be on twitch TV slash uncone coder unfortunately I spelled unknown wrong in two months I'll be able to fix that but anyway guys I think that's pretty much everything that I want to talk about in this video I'm gonna have daily uploads during the week I'm gonna be live streaming at least three times a week sometimes more if um, my girlfriend's out of town and I don't need to like give her a bunch of attention during the weekend but yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, this has been Unknown Coder. I want to thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And have a great day, everybody. Peace out.